um, applications for a lot of these. Uh, these are all similar design applications. Uh, visual prototypes, space plane models, if you want to see how everything fits together, how it goes into manufacturing and assembly. Um, how the product functions, what sort of outputs you're going to get from it, whether it's going to meet your, your design requirements and allowables. Um, marketing samples, low volume direct, ma direct manufacturing or even repair and modification. This piece here is actually an assembly of 11 components all made off of FDM and the stack of tolerances, the part was within plus or minus 40 thousandths on 12 feet for 11 pieces. That's straight off the machine. That was before uh, uh, finishing and everything was done, but you're not dealing with that much on 12 feet that you can't bring that back in. Here's an application uh, you guys may have seen. This This is a great illustration because of the fact that it's very, very impacting uh, uh, capability. If you're looking at an outer mold line uh, on an aircraft and you need to put in a bunch of drill holes, uh, these systems aren't necessarily designed to be e enormous, but if you take a CAD file, section it out into the necessary components, build those within acceptable tolerances, which most of these machines can do, uh, assemble that, you can put it into service, and now you've got all the complex angles for, for drilling already set there and, and enabled. Simple thing I'll say is, and we do it all the time with jigs and fixtures in our shop, if you want somebody to do something, if you want them to measure it, if you want them to follow that procedure, make it easy for them. The easier you make it for them to do it, the more likely they are to do it and not try and sidestep or skirt around it. So make it easier for them to line up a drill. You know the drill is going to go in. Now you're going to get the hole that you want. So uh, hollow applications, uh, these are some of the secondaries. You can do some of this on the, uh, the direct off the machines, uh, but you do have some material limitations and obviously doing them individually on the machines can be costly. Uh, there's also options for doing rotational molding where we've done tons of uh, bottles for uh, shelf studies, uh, product line testing to make sure that the 60th bottle down the line doesn't flop off because of stack up and everything going along and it misses the fill point. Uh, or even uh, we did a gas tank reservoir for one of our customers. Uh, they put it out in the field for 100 hours, or sorry, 1,000 hours. We did it internally for 300 hours. Um, and they had no residual effects or no signs of wear deterioration on it. So, viable way to be able to quickly turn around uh, some prototypes for that. A lot of this starts with working relationships. Anytime you're dealing with somebody, whether it's internally, whether it's externally, you're going to have working relationships. And everybody's always going to tell you, you know, you've got, you've got the option there. Maybe. Um, price, quality, and delivery. And then, of course, the typical response on that is choose to. I don't necessarily like that option of choose to because, for one, I think we're already missing one if we're only thinking that those are the three drivers. Um, so you got to ask yourself, you got to ask yourself why, because in all sincerity, service is in there. The communication, we're taking ideas and concepts and telling somebody a, a telephone, an email, hundreds of miles away potentially. I want it made just like this. I want this to function like this, and I want it to shoot a little piece all the way over there, and I want it to do it 500 times. That's easier said than done, to communicate all that. And what happens if you say, I want 500 of these pieces to do it, and they all have to do it within an acceptable distance uh, for the end product? Well, there's so many things that you can send a file, and that file doesn't tell you any of these expectations. It doesn't tell you the requirements of the material. It doesn't tell you whether it's going to be run in high temperature applications. Um, one example we had, a, a customer of ours does hair dryers, or, or hand dryers. Um, they said, oh, we want just a couple of quick SLAs so we can put together these uh, uh, these filters and, and test our airflow. Okay, wait a second, airflow. How many people have dealt with uh, wind tunnels? So airflow can get to be pretty hot. So we asked them, okay, what sort of pressure are you putting here? Oh, it's only like four or five PSI. Okay, great, what are you doing? We're putting in a filter. Okay, how do you assemble this filter? Well, we take this hot melt glue gun and we put this bead of glue on the part, and we stick this filter in there. So, okay, so how hot is that glue? About 275 degrees? Well, any of the SLA resins are gonna melt at 130, 140. So while he wanted just a quick, simple part to test, 
So okay, how about this one we'll do an FDM. It's quick, simple, your geometry is conducive. It'll withstand the heat without any problem. We'll do the other one in SLA. It's still, you know, it, it's gonna be a little bit cheaper. So you're saving, you're getting the best of both processes. But now you've got one that you can put in. You can actually lay this bead of hot mouth glue in, put your, put your filter in, and it's gonna function properly. Sure enough, got his two sets, put things together. Called back, said, yeah, everything's working great. We'll talk to you next time we need something. So every every year, basically, we probably see another program from them. But, okay. Uh, the thing is, you've got price and quality and delivery, but you've also got service. If you know exactly what you need and you don't have any question on it, there's online places. There's a lot of, a lot of places that have just a quick web page. You can go there. Put in your part data, put in your credit card, order your part, have it show up. And you're going to get exactly what you put in there. If you have any question about it, make sure you got somebody you can talk to. There's nobody's, nobody's charging. It's not like there's a consultation fee to do an evaluation before a quotation. So any service bureau you go to will answer these questions um, and help direct you to, to a good technology, a good solution.